From our studios in Washington, D.C., it's time to see the best of the best. It's time for March Mathness. Woo! I get chills just hearing that. Hello, friends. Jim Cowan here. Well, here we are once again, the time of year when we swear we're not a math person, yet we can't wait to jump headfirst into our bracketology. I'm welcomed by my brilliant colleagues, Adam Ezring, Josh Parrish, Ariana Coleman, who are here to talk about the rigorous judging process and what it takes to be number one. All right. We scan videos, research player stats, and consider injuries. We size up the probability of a 12 seed team knocking off a five seed. And then we watch a flurry of games, recording the outcomes and projecting how many points we can get in our bracket. I don't know about you, it sounds like a lot of math. A lot of Lots math. Of math. <laughs> Lots of math. Unfortunately, students across the country aren't doing so well at math. Scores for our nation's nine and 13 year olds are at all time lows. So which math policies and practices are the ones that are helping students, teachers, and parents the most? Because we know they're out there. Which ones need to stick around and advance? We're digging into that question through a little tournament of our own, March Math Fest, where we pit some of the most promising state and local math practices against one another. All right. Let's take a look at our bracket. This really is an impressive lineup of 16 hard-hitting practices. Adam, who do you like here? You know, Jim, my Uncle Bill used to say that defense wins championships. <laughs> well, I think champions win championships. And that's why I love what Colorado and Alabama are doing. I'm talking about state leadership, state legislative action, leading to a winning strategy of statewide action. From the top down, they are delivering a message that math is a statewide priority and failure is not an option. Boom! Colorado, right, Alabama. Yeah, that's true on champions, but you cannot overstate the importance of a strategy and a game plan for success. That's why I'm watching Nebraska, Louisiana, and Ohio as they roll out a top-rated math platform, Zern Statewide. High-quality curriculum and supports are essential to raising academic achievements. I like Zern. Well, let me tell you, though. The key to success is making sure you're designing plays to get your best players involved in how many plays yeah. as possible. That's why I'm looking at Texas and North Carolina. The new policy automatically enrolls students in advanced math classes is a game changer. Love it. All right, well, we've got some fierce competition here. All of these are winners, but we've got to find a way to decide who's going to move on in this bracket and who's not. So we've enlisted a plucky panel of three expert judges to serve as our officials in this big math dance. Chad Alderman, Dale Chu, and Jocelyn Pickford. Chad's a nationally recognized expert on education policy. He That's knows tough. standards, he knows assessment, he knows accountability. No doubt he is gonna have some strong opinions about these math practices. Sure. And we better look out for Dale. Oh. This guy is definitely on his game around the impact and availability of data. Ah. He's been a classroom teacher, a school principal, and a deputy state superintendent for Indiana, no less. <laughs> Hoosiers. <laughs> Whatever. No Blue Devils. <laughs> well, Jocelyn is a former Connecticut school board leader. Ugh. Yikes, the Huskies. Fierce on the court. Fierce on the court. Exactly. Be ready for Jocelyn to be fierce about whether these practices include the right teacher supports and evidence-based curriculum. Yes. I can't wait to see how these judges size up and select their winners. Over the coming weeks, we'll be sharing the results from the initial Sweet 16 to the Elite 8 to the Final Four, and ultimately to our overall math champion. All right. Follow along and root for your favorites. And look, we got to be honest. We know there are more great efforts out there. So let us know about them. Definitely. Improving math competency is going to take more than just one shining moment. <laughs> Don't worry, Jim Nance. All right, well said, my friend. The big math dance is here. Let's get this party started. Woo! Who's the math person? You, you are. are.